Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, I recently did this Lion King one. Uh, I really wanted to do this scene for about half, maybe seven months, eight months. I wanted to do this scene. And um, now when I do like Disney or scenes like this, I try to incorporate my own background or my own twist into it. Um, so this is what I came up with. And I hope you guys like it. Hakuna Matata. Thank you to all the patrons. You guys mean the world to me. And uh, like I always say, the backbone of this channel and your support means a lot. So thank you guys. And everyone that's watching this video, uh, thank you too. Your support also means a lot. Um, that's all I've got to say. Over to Luke. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Jay painting um, paintings, believe it or not, he's actually painting paintings, so that's really exciting, and I've got a, another good discussion to, wait, 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 hold up, hold up one second, Jay, honestly, if you're gonna fucking dance naked in the mirror, using a brush as a microphone, at least shut your blinds, the neighbours are fucking looking, I can see them, no, no, I, I can see them, put a fucking towel on, Get dressed or shut your blind. You have two options. Oh, anyway, guys, sorry about that. It's become a daily occurrence. He keeps dancing naked from the mirror to our 2010 hottest hits. It's becoming a problem. And the neighbors have this weird obsession with watching him. And I kind of think he gets a thrill from it. But I'm not going to make assumptions. Anyway, let's just get into the topic. Um, so this is another subreddit of relationship advice and who better to ask for advice for relationships than me yeah i've had one relationship and yeah i'm 25 so i clearly know how to fucking give advice when it comes to this shit my only advice is don't get into one fuck i sound like a 60 year old married man all right anyway let's uh read the title this is exciting guys i just learned Recently, that eight years ago, my boyfriend, who's 36, euthanized his healthy dog out of spite over his ex fiance leaving him. Wait, sorry, that's a wrong discussion. I didn't want to read that because, yeah, that sounds fucked up. One sec. So, the actual title of the story I'm reading today is actually under legal advice, so I completely fucked up there. And once again, don't come to me for legal advice because, um, yeah, because I don't give legal advice legal advice gives me anyway so the title reads neighbors entrusted me with looking after their pets and house for three weeks it has been almost a year now and they haven't come back today their basement flooded and i have no idea what to do i'm just going to start off by saying congratulations you now own that house they haven't come back after a year well shit it's pretty much your house so congratulations you're now a homeowner so that's great news. All right, let's read the details. In June 2019, my neighbors came to my door. I had some experiences with them. They invited us for a barbecue not long after they moved in. Wow, that's quite an experience. Thanks for that little fucking shit detail. They asked me and my wife if we would look after their pets and their house for the next three weeks as they needed to return to Taiwan as his mother was dying. They even left me $500 for food for their two German Shepherds and their cat. I don't know what happened to them, but they just never came back. I don't know if they ended up in some sort of prison or decided to just not come home at all. Today I found out their basement had flooded probably sometime within last week. Apparently a pipe burst, but the entire basement is completely fucked. I paid to have the leak fixed and I spent all of today using my shop vac to drain their basement to the best of my abilities. Between this and one of their dogs needing surgery, I've spent several thousand dollars on my own money and frankly the damage to the basement was pretty awful. I don't have their insurance paperwork and I don't really know if I can even do a claim for them. On top of this, his two giant German Shepherds, while they're amazingly good boys, it is becoming almost too much for us to handle. Their last name is extremely common and their Facebook profiles are private, which gives me very little avenue to tackle this down. So he's written a timeline out. On June 7th, 2019, neighbors asked me if I would look after their pets and their house while they were handling the death of his mother back in Taiwan. Told me three weeks at latest. July 1st, 2019, neighbors sent me an email stating they need some additional time to handle his father's affairs 
He apologized and said he will be back by July 15th at the latest. July 21st, 2019. Sent him an email asking what's going on. Explained how we're going on vacation in August. Never got a response. July 31st, 2019, which happens to be Bo's birthday. So, well, on Bo's birthday, this is what happened. Tried calling him on his cell phone. Number he was given to me was no longer in service. On August 14th, 2019, went on vacation, had my brother look after all four dogs for the next week. September 2nd, 2019, emailed him again, no response. September 3rd, 2019, tried to reach him and his wife via Facebook using the private message feature. September 6th, 2019, ended up moving his two dogs, one cat, into our house as they seemed extremely miserable. I ended up disassembling part of our joined fence to allow his dogs to use their outdoor area. Well, that's very kind and I do feel extremely bad for these animals because they've just been abandoned. Alright, November 19th, 2019, one of his dogs started showing signs of being ill, brought him to the vet, turns out he's suffering from a medium severity case of IVDD. He ended up requiring surgery, which we paid for. So these are basically your pets now. You're too invested and yeah, you're spending all your money on them. And I'm guessing the dogs look at you as a guardian and a provider. So I'd say they're your dogs, whether you like it or not. January 21st, 2020. Sent another email and never got a response. Today, when I was bringing his mail into his house, I noticed it smelled pretty awful and I quickly discovered his basement had about a foot of water in it. And then he's asked some questions. What exactly is my level of responsibility in this? I agreed to look after it for a few weeks, couple of months at the most. It's been almost a year now. And is there anything I can do? And some other points he left. I'm assuming they have some sort of auto payment for bills set up because they still have hydro, cable, internet. I am unsure where exactly the husband worked. I know he said he was an engineer. However, I cannot find his LinkedIn profile. So I don't know what company. The last name is a very common name, common like Wong. So I'm guessing maybe it's a new end. Uh, maybe uh, that's all I can think of right now. Which gives me tons of Facebook results. Yeah, good luck finding that. So yeah, that's where it comes to an end. So now it's time to give my unqualified opinion, which uh, yeah, I don't really offer anything at all other than um, the opinion of a fucking idiot. I think it's probably best you just leave the problem to someone else maybe it's time you call the police let uh let the authority step in take care of this take it out of your hands because you know you didn't sign up for this even three weeks is a big ask especially since you've said you've had experiences with them which was only having a barbecue so that's not a great fucking experience unless they made some good ass fucking food um yeah, but you have to let the law step in and take it out of your hands. And it's up to you whether you want to keep the animals for yourself or, you know, maybe you've grown a bit of emotional attachment towards them and maybe you don't want the animals to... Uh, they'll probably be euthanized, to be honest, if you uh, don't um, keep them, which is no pressure, but they'll be going into the animal shelter and because of their age, uh, there's a bigger possibility that they'll be uh, euthanized. So... That's on you, buddy. Nah, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but... Um, yeah, it's up to you if you want to keep the animals. And, yeah, just contact the police. Maybe they'll show up in two months and be like, What the fuck? Where's my house? Um, not my problem, brother. The best legal advice I can give you is go to a lawyer who can give you actual legal advice. I really do applaud you, though, for looking after the animals and paying for the um, medical bills. You didn't have to do that. You could have literally just left them there to die, but it does show uh, your sense of character. So well done for that. I do uh, give you a pat on the back for that. So, yeah, props to you. you sound like a good person. Even the fact that after a year, you're still um, taking care of the house. So, all right, guys, it's been really, really amazing. Um, quite an interesting story. It's fun not talking about relationships for a bit because... Um, it just reminds me of uh, how alone and miserable I am. So it's a nice little switch up. All right, guys, please take care. Take care of yourself. Go have a shower right now. Clean yourself because I can smell you from here. And yeah, just do all those things you do when I'm not looking. All right, guys. Bye.